Welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. When I unboxed the Bowley Watchmaker's lathe last July, it was fitted with this three-jaw scroll chuck. It was packed with brass chips and gummed up, but basically in good shape. More recently I disassembled it for cleaning during my Bowley restoration livestream. While cleaning the lathe, I've settled on a procedure for cleaning parts of gunk and rust without damaging the plating and the surface finish. I thought I'd describe the process in this video, using the chuck as an example. The first step is to use dilute citrus degreaser in an ultrasonic cleaner to quickly and effectively dislodge and remove gunk and chips. The smaller parts were placed in metal baskets to avoid losing them. Ultrasonic cleaning easily removes gunks from tight corners and crevices without sharp points or abrasives which might damage the surface finish. I diluted the degreaser down about 5 to 1 and it was still plenty strong enough to shift all the visible grease. The cleaner's built-in timer runs for a few minutes, which was plenty for all the parts I cleaned with this technique. I did the next step outside to avoid the kerosene smell from filling my house. As I dried each part, I dumped it into a kerosene bath. This keeps oxygen away from the freshly cleaned metal to avoid corrosion and helps displace the last traces of water. It also helps with the next step. The parts are now clean, grease free and hopefully dry. They still have a bit of old surface rust though. I tried some rust removal products but didn't like the effect they had on the surface finish. They often discoloured the steel and always made the metal surface look too new. To keep the surfaces looking as original as possible, I removed the rust using very fine wire wool. The kerosene helps rinse the removed rust away and makes the cleaning easier. Pegwood helps remove hard to reach rust and the most stubborn remaining gunk. Thank you. 
The second batch to the Kino was the last two remaining parts, the body and scroll of the Chuck. As I assembled the chuck I used high performance bike chain oil to coat all the contact surfaces. It was suggested in another scroll chuck cleaning video on YouTube as a good substitute if professional chuck lubricating oil is hard to get hold of. Lining up the threads on the scroll was very fiddly and took much longer than I show here. Lining up the retaining plate on the back took a bit of experimentation as well. The screws are very snug fit and the plate needs to be in exactly the right place. I only caught fitting one of the jaws on camera, but the rest were very straightforward. Finally, I fitted the back plate with its collet taper fitting. I'm very happy with the end result. The chuck is clean and serviceable, but has the patina of a venerable and well-used tool. The next step for the lathe restoration will be the carriage, which needs a lot of work on the feed screws. I should also have some proper machining footage ready for upload soon. <laughs> 